Ay. Ay. Okay. Ay. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Scotty Show. Tonight, we're going to be reacting to Joey Sofo Giletel. Is that, is that how you say it? Let me know if I, let me know if I said that right, bro. I don't know if this is a French word or like some kind of like fashion brand or something like that, bro. I don't really know a lot about like, you know, I'm not no fashion nigga, bro, but I do like to put that shit on though, if you know what I'm saying, bro. I, hey, I was cringe as fine. I don't even want to, I, I shouldn't even said that shit. <laughs> I put that shit on, bro. Like, that was crazy. But uh, uh, this is honestly one of my favorite uh, songs on the Just Tired 2 project. Um... I think it's probably the best song on the project besides the feature with Ricky Chicks. I think that this song has the most um, replayability, you know, out of all the songs on there. Um, and I'm, I'm still sticking to Just Tired 2 is better than, I mean, Just Tired 1 is better than Just Tired 2. Um, I'm not going to change that. Uh, I've been listening to Just Tired 2 and Just Tired 1 back to back, seeing how, you know, uh, the vibes are and how I'm feeling about each uh you know each project and i think that just tired one has way more replayability for each song compared to just tired two replayability um i'm also like and uh, i explained this in my discord i felt like i i feel like i haven't heard anything the level of attention to retail level writing and skill and talent wise out of you know joey's most recent releases i think that um I think that Just Tired 2, considering where Joey is at in his career as an artist, and I don't know how he takes his career, you know, I don't want to seem like, uh, uh, like, oh, I need, I'm telling someone what they need to hear or something like that, or like, I'm just giving you guys how I feel about this, uh, and, and the insight that I feel, you know, that I may, that, that I may or may not have, but, um, I think that, uh, I think that we... We should be expecting attention to retail type style of, of, of skill level when it comes to uh, Joey's uh, uh, releases now, you know, um, I, I don't like, yeah, like, you know, we have like the nod fans and stuff like that, but I want to see him um, uh, put out more songs like the song that he made a shot of music video for, Sifo <laughs> Giletel. Um, I, that's what I think that uh, I would like to see, uh, you know, because like, and there's a reason why he shoot, he's shooting a video for this is because number one, it has the highest replayability and um, it could translate to, 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 to newer fans listening to Joey, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to um, showing someone the features with Ricky Chick and Marlon and, and some of the solo stuff that he did where he's just doing like the, the, like the nod theory, like the nod Joey stuff. It's, it's hard to get uh, a new listener to like that kind of style. But if you play a song like this with the feature that you have Diora on, um, and, and this, and, and the, yeah, Diora is a big part of this for being uh, this, this song being so fucking fire. But also, Joey was rapping. He had the bars was in here. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could hear him more clearly and stuff. And, and, and it's just like, uh, I, I said this too, in the Marlin Tent, um, the Marlon Tent EP, I feel like it's the best project right now in Shed Theory. His voice was clear. I could hear everything that he was saying. The writing was very good and meaningful and stuff like that. Kind of like how Ricky Chicks was when, on this feature with uh, with uh, with Joey. Like, I don't want to feel like the fallback plan. I'm having trouble opening up the TV for my real friends and stuff like saying stuff like that, you know. And um, it, 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 like, and that's why I would say that the, the Ricky Chicks feature, you could you could shoot a video for that as well because you can tell a story with the video. You know what I'm saying? You could tell, with that writing, with that level of writing, you could tell a story. I, I, and that's why I'm surprised that we haven't got any uh, music videos for Tent, you know, which is crazy. I think that there's a lot of, I think that there's a really big story that you could tell with music videos with the Tent. I think that he should do a Tent, like, should at least, should, should have a music video for each song and it should tell a story in, in some kind of way. Um, that's like how I, I, that's how good I think, uh, Tent is, but, um, yeah, man, we got the, uh, we got Joey and Diora, uh, someone's, uh, requested Nokia Angel Ghost Town, I have never heard of this artist before, I'm curious as to how that's gonna sound, um, and then someone else requested, uh, Shine, Hop Out featuring Summers, this looks like this was dropped four weeks ago, let me know if this was dropped four weeks ago, or if, it, or if, uh, or like if this is like an old song, let me know in the comment section, please. But uh, we're gonna get into this, man. This is the Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all. Let's get into these reactions. Oh, man. 
milligrams up in this pill. That's a green or blue white pill. How many milligrams up in this pill? My plug said he How many milligrams up in this pill? That's a white pill. That's a white pill. How many milligrams up in this pill? That's a white bar, blue or green one. Jesus turned water into wine. Hey yo, I low key hope that Diora isn't a, a drill rapper because like this type, this like New York accent with like that type style of rapping, he could be a hit maker. Automatic. I turned the Sprite into a pink oil. I don't get full of fashion, I'm a scuffy grass. Big knees, put the click out on my fingernails. I'm full of water, my water looks like straight down. Run up for Jeffy Rockin' through. Cause we don't need no more Joe rappers in New York no more, bro. Do you, or you are a hit maker. Rap outside of, of, of New York Joe rap, please. Stick to stick to this and, and, and making hits for people, bro. You are a hit maker on God because you really made this song. I'm not even going to cap. Joey's rapping was a big part of it, but like you made this song a hit, Diora. I'm letting you know right now. You made this a hit. You need to be a hit maker. You don't need to be no New York rapper. Please do not be a New York rapper, bro. That shit is... Leave that in 2023, bro. We I need New York to do something different. That's why I fuck with this new age East Coast right here because they doing something different, bro. Like Leave that New York drill shit in the past, bro. Please, 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 bro. I'm tired of hearing it, bro. Like there's, you know, I still like the five year foreigners and stuff like that, and I like uh, um, what's that nigga name? K Flock. I fuck with K Flock heavy. Um, there's a uh, fuck. I forgot the other nigga name, but uh, yeah, man. But, but, but besides them, bro, I am not trying to listen to no New York drill, bro. Shot this music video is is a go. Spill up into rations, break this bread over my siblings. Lights, cameras, action. Soon as I walk into this building, and the park is fat, just like myself. I don't need to hold the cash, I make the purchase with myself. I feel like I meet my name ringing bells. I make this sort of flip, but there's no hesitation. Don't get hit with a shell. I'm smoking on gas like I stopped at a shell. Uh, Twig hands on me like I hit a wells. Uh, Try to run up, I send him to hell. How many milligrams up in this pill? pill. That's a blue or a green, white pill. Cash it on gallery, I do not steal. I walk with a 12, but I just had a seal. That's a stripper, she walk with her ass on. He doing bad, yeah, he do it for me. Bro, he got that ankle monitor on. That's crazy. Ayo, hey, Dior, stay out of trouble, bro, for real. Back up, on the highway, ride with the strap out. Diamonds, they on me, this shit is a glass house. Got them beers on my head from a cash out. I'll leave you pass it, the bro, he gon' spaz out. From the back, I make a tap out. Try to play me, then I'm bringing the strap out. How many milligrams up in this pill? That's a blue or a green, white pill. How many milligrams up in this pill? That's a blue or a green, white pill. How many milligrams up in this pill? That's a green or a blue, white pill. How many milligrams up in this pill? That's a white bar, blue pill. How many milligrams up in this pill? That's a white pill. That's a white pill. How many milligrams up? He getting sturdy with the ankle monitor on. That's crazy. Hey, Dior is the fucking goat. I don't give a fuck with nobody. He's fire, bro. We, we, I'm gonna be re I'm gonna react. I'm gonna be reacting to some Dior uh, projects now, bro. We need to we need to make Dior uh we need to put Dior up there, bro. And shout out to Joey for fucking with some real niggas, bro. That's crazy. Up in this pill. That's a white bar, blue or green, white pill. That's a green bar, blue or green, white, blue, white pill, white pill. I'm sipping on lead and I fell right the hell. I'm sipping on lead and I fell right the hell. Watch in your cup. How many milligrams up in this pill? DJ Smokey. How many milligrams? Time. All right, man. That was crazy. I fuck with that heavy, and like I like this too that Joey does this because it puts sh it, Shed is just branching out into so many different um like markets. They're branching out and fucking with so many different people, cultures, and stuff like that. And like it just like makes their name even and other people's name even more stronger on the East Coast. And this is what I like to see. I like to see these alternate underground universes all like you know come together because i'm pretty sure dior doesn't come from the same underground level and background as joey you know because they're, they're their whole entire that's a different underground scene right there but like in in 
the aura comes from a different way. Even though it's all underground, like I put it under the underground umbrella, they all come from different, you know, markets of the underground. Uh, that's how you, that's how you want to like say it in different groups and, and cliques and, and you know, <clears throat> of the underground scene. Um, and I just like that 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 uh, that we're getting like these cross Marvel DC universe collabs between artists and stuff like that. We need way more of that. I think it needs to happen. Um, I think it's cool that like the weird underground side fucks with like the street culture side of uh, sh- um, and when I say street culture, I mean street gang people getting in trouble with, like those kind of like you know like because you can pull those people out of like those kind of situations and then make your guys' brands even bigger. And I think that's what it's all about, bro. Because the, some of those artists are in really fucked up positions in, in life because of where they came from, and uh, sometimes you have to show them the other side of things. And uh, I think that that is gonna be a, a really great thing that that can happen for Diora. I think that he's a, he's a real, I think that he's a hit maker for real. Like he don't even gotta rap about like the pill shit. He can do other stuff, and that shit will sound like a hit in my opinion. This got to be like the right beat, right place, right time. But um, we're gonna get into the next uh, reaction. Shout out to Joey, man. Joey's the goat. He's the goat. Next song we're gonna get into is Nokia Angel Ghost Town. Let's get it. Out the gate, this reminds me of Snow Strippers, Yabujin, Blade, Drain, you know, like, out the gate, like, that's the kind of vibes I'm getting. Hey, yo, those boots is crazy. I need those boots, bro. Them boots is fire. He was throwing up GD. I was like, yo, these white boys is wildly. I'm like, yo, these niggas banging in the snow. These niggas, hey, what's up, cuz? <laughs> I thought these niggas was banging in the snow, bro. Shorts with some, uh, with like the tights under it, bro. I fuck with if those are shorts. I fuck with the shorts and I fuck with the boots heavy, bro. And I don't know if that's a fucking crop top coat, but like I like that it's like a puffer coat, but like I don't like that if it's a crop, uh, if it's a crop top coat, I am not wearing that. Mama. You are not catch me in that. <laughs> you are not, catch, not my big ass, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, he ain't catching me in that shit, gang. I swear to God, he ain't catching me in that shit. That's some skinny white nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't wear no shit like that. But uh, I fuck with the rigs, too. Like, I fuck with, like, his sound and, like, his music and, like, just the, the look and the image that he gives. And, like, I fuck with, like, his uh, his homies, too. Like, I, I fuck with how, like, they dress and shit. Like, how they fits looking shit, too. And the music just sounds good as well. It's just, like, I just had to add that on because, like, the aesthetic is a part of the music as well in the music video and how it's shot. It's kind of shot like how your bouge, some of your Bougian's, uh music videos are shot. And it's some of us uh, snow stripper stuff and you can compare it to like some blade type shit too as well uh and, uh, and how some of his stuff is shot um but i like it though that he takes inspiration from the, those kind of things like just because you say something looks like something it doesn't take away from what uh nokia angel has created because obviously you, you have to get you have to get inspiration from somewhere people be like oh i don't listen to nothing i know nothing i know nothing i i'm i'm uh, I, I inspire myself obviously you, yeah you can inspire yourself but you have to get the idea f from from a source there's always a source from some kind of ideas and um also like you see it you, you've grown uh, your whole entire life you've seen music videos you've seen artists you've seen art you've seen actors people like that doctors lawyers teachers and you get inspired so like people saying that like oh i i don't watch nothing i i know nothing i i, I know i only listen to myself yeah i get it dude like yeah you are your inspiration you have to be your inspiration in order to chase your dreams but you get inspiration from other people as well and it's okay to admit that um but uh yeah overall i fuck with this this is a this is a dope ass uh song and i like the like the beats and all that stuff like snow strippers type um uh I don't know, are those synths are like, uh, like those, de -de 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 -de. like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like that, de -de. Are, are those synths? Let me know in the comment section, because I really don't know much about producing. I know a little bit about, about like, like production and stuff like that and how some like uh certain sounds like the names of like those certain sounds but let me know in the comment section what what, what kind of sound is that That's a fire ass music video. I like how it ended. Look at these niggas right here. This shit crazy. This shit fire. Uh, let me know the name of these uh, other two motherfuckers right here, bro. They dope as fuck. I fuck with them, bro. But um, I hope that Nokia Angel isn't the type of artist that like is like super secretive and like like away from like the the world type shit. There's no way you could be away from the world. You live on the world. You live on the planet. But um. I hope that he's, like, not stingy about dropping. With an artist like this, I feel like uh, the more consistent he is with giving out content, music videos, and stuff like that, and pushing out uh, music, uh, I feel like the bigger his, the quicker his fan base will, will grow. And it gives people like me that do commentary on stuff like this, it would make me more interested in covering this artist, Nokia Angel. And obviously, now that I've heard, uh, you know, this is my first listen to his music, um, I feel like I'm more inclined to do more research on him and um, figure out more about his music, react to more music. Um, I, I like it, you know. Um, I, so, like, first time listen, I will say that I fuck with Nokia Angel. I'm not even going to cap. I fuck with this. This is, this is fire. I like how his homies look and I like how like his style and all that stuff. Definitely won't catch me in the, make the Make the coat a little bit more longer. I'll rock with it, bro. But that shit is for, for, for skinny motherfuckers. But, um... Yeah, man, this is this is a fire ass song, bro. Shout out to Nokia Angel. We are gonna get into the next song, man. Song was crazy. I ain't gonna cap. Song was crazy. All right, next song that we're gonna get into is Shine Summers, motherfucker. Let's get into it. Hop out. Let's get it. Hop out, bam, my pistol tight. I made a bitch get on my nuts. Lock and watch him strut. Tips rip through his guts. Hand bullets, watch him cut. Ice take him, watch him drug. Hey, bro, Lush 
always going to be a vibe, bro. I swear to God. You th- and you play some little shy anywhere around me, nigga. I'm dancing like Cardi. I don't give a fuck. Y'all know how I be making fun of Cardi ass. That nigga be twerking on stage and shit, nigga. You catch me dancing like Cardi. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Too. It's not like this. It's not just like the vocalizations and like how the uh, stuff is mixed. He can also like just rap. He can rap, bro. Like even if he wasn't doing the, I can't even say that because his voice, like the how his voice is mixed, is is what makes it a vibe. I don't even go cap. But uh, like his, his rapping ability alone is just like it makes up for a lot of that stuff because a lot of people that 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 do like the vocalization like that, they rely on saying the same shit over and over and over again, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, like after after like every like one word they say, they'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, I don't know. That I bitch that I don't know. I don't care, I don't care. That I bitch that I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Lil Shine don't gotta do little shit like this. You know, <laughs> like he he a real rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't. That's why you can't hate on a nigga like this. This nigga really. He remind, he remind me, he like the white little Uzi, you know, like little Uzi, like even though he do like all that vocalization shit, bro, that nigga can rap his fucking ass off. I don't care what nobody say. Like niggas would be like, oh, he's just a pop singer, pop star. No, that nigga can rap, bro. Stop playing. Don't even play with like, nigga, have you ever listened to Sanguine Paradise, nigga? That's a rap, bro. I, and people would be like, you, you be go, bro, my homies in, 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 you know, in IRL, you know what I'm saying? The ones I'll be, I'll hang out with them, talk to them on Xbox and shit like that. Like... Like, we'd we be debating this shit. I'd be like, bro, like, like they'd be like, bro, Say We in Paradise is not that good. That's a rock isn't that good. I'd be like, bro, you're tweaking. You're tweaking. That was like, like, I know Lil Uzi has established that he can rap on other songs prior to that and previous to that, you know what I'm saying? But when I heard, like, that's a rock, like, the rapping in, in the, the, the Sanguine Paradise, like, the rapping on that, I was like, yo, this nigga is going bar for bar for bar for bar. But, uh, yeah, like, that's who Lil Shine kind of reminds me of. He's like a white Lil Uzi in, in a way. But uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section about these recommendations. This is the Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all. Peace out. Hey. Okay. Hey. Uh, hey.